The Whisper Box. I'm Dana from The Whisper Box and welcome to my channel. So today I'm coming to you from a very weirdly lit room because the weather is really rainy outside so I have a, a light bulb to get some light in this video and I don't know it's gonna be really weird so I hope this turns out all right. Um, today I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I got uh, from Fashion Mia. This is a sponsored video. I received $50 worth of clothing from them but something went awry, so I'll explain that in a bit, but let's just get started with a couple of things that I got. Um, I ordered four things with the $50 I got, um, but only three of them made it to me from China. Um, it was during the holiday season when I ordered it in November, and I didn't get it until January. So something to think about if you're going to order from Fashion Mia. First item I'll show you is this really cute blouse that I'm wearing. Um, it was on clearance. Um, and it has these really cute birds in them. Um, it's a white background. It's really colorful. It's great for spring. I'm really excited to wear it for spring. I might actually wear it for spring with like a little blazer for work or something. Um, it's got these really nice sleeves that are, they have like a cuff on them, which I love. And uh, I really love this. I think this is definitely a win. Um, I would definitely order other blouses from Fashion Mia. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing. And the second thing I got is this really cute, um, tiny clutch bag. It comes with a little strap on it and you can remove it, which is really nice. Um, it's these little clasps that you just open and take off. Same thing with the other side. You just put it back on. So you can wear it without the straps or with the straps. And then the zipper has this really nice detail on it. It kind of looks like a kite almost, which is really cute. Um, so it's got gold detailing, so if you are wearing gold jewelry, this will go very well with it. Um, I tend to not wear, like, mix different metals when I wear jewelry, so if I ever wear this bag, I'll probably try to wear it with something um, gold-colored in terms of jewelry. Um, and then inside, it's just a cloth inside. Um, it's not to pack a bunch of stuff in, of course. It's a clutch bag, so I would just throw my keys and my phone in here, maybe um, lip gloss or chapstick, something like that, just to go out to a party or with friends somewhere really quick. Um, a little bit of money, a little bit of cash, some cards, credit card or something. I wouldn't put much stuff in here because if you do, it probably won't hold up. Um, I mean, if you're not using the straps, maybe you can probably put more things in them. But I, I really wouldn't try putting too many things in this. But yeah, I'm very happy with this. I'm excited to use this. And the third item that I got um, is this dress, which I'm not really sure I'm happy with. Um, it's a grayish purple. comes with a mock neck. Um, I left the tag on it still because I haven't tried it on um, properly yet, but it came very wrinkled. So if you're not a fan of ironing clothes um, like for very long periods of time after you just receive them in the mail or after washing them after you receive them in the mail, I don't recommend this. The material is like a synthetic fiber, so um, as you can probably guess, ironing it is not the easiest task. I had to actually like wet the dress like by hand with a bunch of water because it wasn't working. Um, I still have a couple of wrinkles in it, um, but I, I couldn't handle like just sitting there ironing anymore. So I just gave up and I think I did a pretty good job ironing it, but I don't know. I'm not sure I like the... Uh, the mock neck. I'm kind of weird about mock necks recently because the last couple I bought from different places, um, they stretch out when I try to put them on. I guess I have a big head. I don't know. But um, yeah, the dress is pretty long. Um, it goes way past my knees, which is fine. I don't like dresses usually that don't go past my knees. Um, but yeah, this has three quarter sleeves and I'll show you what it looks like um, in a little bit after these next couple of words. Um, so I, as I said earlier, I did not receive all the items from this order. There's one missing item. It was supposed to be a blazer, a burgundy blazer, um, but they, something went wrong with the program um, that they use, I guess, to deliver or to send notifications out about the items that have shipped from Fashion Mia. So apparently the burgundy blazer that I ordered, um, they never sent me the notification that it wasn't in stock anymore. So I, when I received these three items, I was like, you know, where's my blazer? And they said, oh, we're sorry. Notification never went through. We don't have it in stock anymore. So you can choose something else at the same price. Um, and we'll just mail it to you immediately. So I asked them, like, can I just wait until I get that fourth item and then do my blog review? And they said, yeah, sure. 
So then fast forward to a couple of days ago, it's now uh, the end of January. Um, and uh, this person from Fashion Mia emails me saying, hey, we saw that you've got the item. So can you please post your review? And I said, uh, I'm still waiting for the fourth item that you guys had a mix up with the sending because it wasn't in stock. I ordered something else and it still hasn't gotten here. They're like, well, we've been waiting for a while. So can you please post your review? So I agreed, of course, to post a review, which I'm doing now. But just be mindful, bloggers, if they ever contact you to uh, review products, they might rush you into doing it after you told them you haven't received all of your order. So that kind of ticked me off about Fashion Mia. So I don't think I would buy from them. They won't be number one on my list for places to buy cheap clothing from. These uh, clothes weren't exactly the cheapest, to be honest. Like these, most of the stuff that I just showed you was on clearance, but the blazer that I actually originally wanted, the burgundy one, was $22, and I don't think it was going to be worth $22, especially after it wasn't even in stock. Um, I ordered a different um, item, of course, because that's what they offered me in exchange for the mistake. Um, so it's a green dress that's coming, and I'll probably show you maybe on Instagram. I might not do a whole video on it, but I really don't think this was worth it. So the blazer was $22. That means I spent an extra $28 on just this dress, this bag and this blouse I mean I'm not sure if it's really worth it to be honest so um as I said I don't really think I'd buy from them again the only thing that I would be interested in looking at probably maybe um <laughs> is blouse items from Fashion Mia because they're this blouse I, I actually really love it's I didn't actually even iron this I took it out of the um packaging as is and I mean it has a couple of wrinkles but if I had to wear this out, I would probably just steam it really quick with my mini steamer and just go to work. I, I don't think I would have much of a problem just dropping this on and going. And if you have a dryer that has wrinkle control, I don't think you would see too many of the wrinkles. So yeah, this I honestly really love. This bag, like I said, you can't really put too much in this. I won't, I won't be putting too much in it just because I know it probably will break if I try to. But I don't really think uh, $28 worth of clothing... Plus the dress that's coming uh, is twenty two dollars. Um, I really don't think it was worth it. But I mean, I of course I will comply with the review as they ask. And yeah, just be wary of this kind of thing because of course it's I mean it's from China, so it'll take a while to get to you. And I just I don't understand how you have a system that doesn't tell you or the customer that your item isn't arriving because it's out of stock. Like you would think that they would tell you at some point, but I don't know. Anyway, um, enjoy the little modeling session I'm going to add to the end of this video. Um, overall, if I had to give it something out of five stars, uh, Fashion Mia service is, I'd say, a two out of five. Um, yeah, enjoy my little modeling. Um, check out my social media. I'll link it below. Subscribe, like, comment to what you think of Fashion Mia service if you've used them before. Um, which of these items that I model in the next couple seconds did you like best? Um, just let me know. See ya.